Alright then, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. In this episode, I'm going to be uh, equipping my characters, first of all. That's what this whole mini segment's going to be about. So, first things first. Equip. First of all, uh, the HP bonus will be more useful on Edgar here because I'll be equipping Cyan with a Knight's Cape. So I'll equip uh, the Green Beret on Edgar. Unfortunately, that means I have to do a full swap because... Okay, just checking where I am. So now uh, Cyan should have the Iron Helm and Edgar should have the... thing, the Green Beret. Alright. Down to relics. I'm still in cyan now. And now I want to equip him with the knight's cape for the HP boon bonus and the vigor. Blah. Vigor. And Edgar's gonna get the sprint shoes because he's kind of my MVP. He's gonna be wiping a lot of stuff here, so. I, I want him to be the fastest for sure. And now Shadow. And we'll shove the stats stick, I think, on him. Because that's useful. And one last thing. Yeah, I, I know. I brought a team of front row characters and I'm sticking in the back. I'm doing it wrong. But. <laughs> Uh, there's a good explanation for that. Since Edgar actually kicks everything's butt so bad, it actually uh, turns out that putting my other characters in the front is mostly just wasting my supplies. Because uh, the, there's only two things in there that I can't take out with just Edgar. And that's the Slam Dancer, because of its high magic defense. However, that makes no difference because... Uh, a Bio Blaster and anything else is gonna kill it. So I just have to make sure someone targets the Slam Dancer. And the other thing is the Gigas, which doesn't fit in my strategy quite as nicely, but hey, what can I do? It's one enemy. Generally, it goes down in the cycle sometimes anyway, so it generally doesn't get more than one attack. Sometimes it gets two. So I'm not over unduly worried about that. I'm actually gonna have the Science Spam Empower, even though everything's human pretty much. Unless I'm against a Gigas, in which case I... And I know that, in which case I might use Dispatch, but, uh... I'm gonna use Empower to conserve all my supplies. Because he won't be doing too much anyway. I'm having Shadow Attack only because it's easier to remember. Because I don't have to figure out that it's Shadow every time I want to... Have him do something. Which would be Defend. So I'll just have him spam attacks like Sabin. So anyway, let's get to the real part of the segment. Alright, got to save. Well, I can tell already that the back guard's gonna be a pretty useless item when I get to it. All the way to the right. Now hopefully I'll get a battle on the same step as the two places before, and it's a good thing if I get another back attack. I can hear the door very well over the music there. It never seems to trip me up at all. This guy can't possibly get in my way here.
Hang on, if this isn't Sabin, then I can't use my blitzes. Oh. Yeah, that was definitely a good move. It's definitely not Cyan who I should be using the specials with. I love magnitude counters, they're very helpful. I remember how much damage they do too, so that'll give me a good idea of uh, where I am. The other two probably need healing, but there's a chance that uh, they won't. Alright, this time I don't know how to deal with the clock, so this shouldn't run very smoothly. There, I had no clue what I was doing. I'm very certain of how useful that item will be. Because stealing is generally pretty useful in a blindfolded challenge. Oh yeah, I remembered that uh, Sabin was set to use Blitz that turn, so I made sure to be careful about using his attack instead of Blitz. Alright, they probably didn't die very nicely there, so... Probably need to be careful and finish off the fight. Four, three, two, one... Unfortunately, there's uh, no convenient, nothing conveniently placed around here for me to run into. So I, I've got to count out steps. And I've got to use a completely different route from before to get back. Pretty sure this isn't a Gigas. Stupid poison proc. Don't want that. Too bad Edgar didn't get countered. Alright, so I haven't gone around the trash can yet, so I don't have to go all the way left here. This building is very well placed. Couldn't ask for a better place. Well, actually, it's not that good, to be honest. Lining myself up with my old route is kind of useless. It's much easier to just completely forge a new path.
I don't think I got a counterattack off, so that's unfortunate. A counterattack could have been helpful there. It was definitely worth my time to attack with Shadow in that fight. Now, unfortunately, I ended up on my old route by accident, so remembering the way out is going to be difficult. I'm not getting very many Gigas this run through. Usually I get a whole lot more. I doubt Edgar and Sabin, I mean, Edgar and uh, Shadow were hurt that fight, so there's no real point in healing them. I suppose I shouldn't heal Cyan either, because clearly he'll uh, have been healed by his empower, which he keeps using. Fortunately, I had reason to use a Phoenix down this time. That's always good. But since it's towards the beginning, it works pretty well. Alright. There, there aren't, aren't any chests in the way to mount Colts, but even if there were, I, I'd go and grab them because I, I definitely can't get it on the way to mount Colts later, so there's no point in doing it later. Might as well just do it now. So, hello. Alright, so the, the numbers on this clock have been changed to regular numbers, which is kind of a bad sign, because it means that I need to remember a whole bunch of different button placements. It's too bad they're not all in the same place that uh, they were before, or else I could just remember it based on the positions of the numbers as opposed to having to figure out the Roman numerals. Well, I clearly got it right there. This clock is definitely not confusing me at all. Well, it's a good thing I got that done quick. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this again. What's going on? Oh no, I mean, yay, this is a back attack, so I probably just attacked myself, that's a good thing. Uh, okay. Oh, yes, I have no idea what's going on. I knew they could use Stepmine, I definitely knew they could use Stepmine. They used it plenty of times in my practice run. Alright, now time to switch off the incredibly useless auto crossbow because I need to train my Balea Blaster. Pretty sure Cyan's still alive after that. That went well. That was a great start. I heard the noise the first time very clearly, so I wanted to do it again because it's fun. Three, two, one. Actually, you know what? This segment was supposed to be so difficult, I think it's a great use of my resources to throw away a phoenix down on the first fight. So I think I'll give up right now. It wasn't enough to save me. That battle was on a different step than last time. That's interesting.
So I think I should be in good shape after not getting hit very many times there. Oh crud, Edgar's alive. Mm -hmm. Did I get a fake back attack there? Because that, that, that would just be sweet irony. Whatever, I'm restarting. Oh good, science alive too. Right and down for a bit. I never get a battle on that step. If that was not a back attack, I'm going to kill someone. Yeah, that's another back attack, I knew it. Wow. 